Alpha Tron, do you recall those ancient shuttle ships we saw in the hangar? Of course. Could they be rebuilt and modified to resemble Earth style jets? Ahoy, hoy. Not only is this a really, really big box, it's also a very heavy box. So, let's get right onto it. Uh, this thing took a beating while it was getting mailed to me. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get the outer, the outer. The outer packaging from the packaging. You can get to the gooey center or like very heavy metallic center in this case. Right. See if we can decide and this 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 side and go ahead and whoop. Okay, so I am I am very weary. <laughs> Weary and worried and weary for this thing. Because if you know, you know, this thing has been a QC ridden, a bad QC ridden figure. So let's go ahead and this guy out of there. See, ooh, screamer! I don't, I don't think I had this guy. Let me put him to the side and decals. So I like the packaging. The bot looks amazing. I mean, I'm I'm surprised that they just called it Silver Bolt, even though like you know, usually third parties don't use the official names. Okay, so I am I am very apprehensive. Uh, so the the reason is this thing has been riddled with QC issues. Almost everybody I've known that has gotten this guy. Has either had broken wings and broken legs and broken robots and this thing was not cheap was not cheap and uh, I'll, I'll honestly I'm I'll be surprised if dream star toys like recovers from it because just this thing has not been received well because of all the QC issues. So let's go ahead. Here's the stand that I don't really care for. It's cool that they have like lights on it, even though like, you know, I need to get batteries for it. Yes, put that to the side. More plastic and more plastic let's go ahead and see what this is oh a faceplate that i like let's see this was loose this is this looks like a, a gun Yep, that, that looks like a gun. If I've ever seen one. Very interesting looking gun. Have no idea where that goes. Here is the front cone. That you have to actually open to be able to lower the landing gear. 
and this turns into his arm cannon. The feet for the combined mode that I don't really care for because I'm only ever going to get this guy. And it's not because this guy might be bad, it's just that I don't really care much for the combiner. I just really care for uh, this guy, like the, the, silver the silver bolt. These, uh, these, uh, they seem fun. <laughs> as, uh, as vehicles, they, they seem, they seem fine. I know that there's supposed to be, like, the combined mode feet, uh, but, uh, yeah. That's, uh. And they look like they have cannons or something. I, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. Like I, I barely seen videos about this, and I'm not entirely sure about all the things that this thing can do. Well, that taps. That's supposed to tap there. Well, I've stopped in that one. Doesn't want to tab in this one, but uh, yeah, it, roll, it rolls fine. It rolls just fine. Let me see if I can actually tap these where they're supposed to go. Okay, just leave those there. Uh, just put that to the side. Instruction manual. You can see, like I, I've also seen like. This thing's transformation is a huge mess. Uh, and usually people report breakages as soon as they um, start transforming it. Which is a shame. The question is, the faceplate, does it go in the regular robot mode or in the combine mode head? So let me stop beating around the bush. And let's, oh, look, a piece fell off, oh, a piece broke. I don't know where this is from. But uh, yeah, like I, I, a broken piece out of the box. I don't know where it goes. So that's, uh. Ill tidings, as they say. And I'd be surprised if it was from the main bot because, as you all saw, this guy was packaged and he was not like, oh yeah, but it could have. Oh yeah, it could have. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Another broken piece and look. The blister was broken. So, yeah, that definitely fell off of him. His head is untapped. Go ahead and tap the head in. See, like, like that's that was the issue with this guy. The packaging was just terrible. It just a bunch of flaps and a bunch of flaps. That that's the issue with this guy. Uh, I believe if the packaging wasn't that bad, maybe it would have been like better. But just since the packaging was such a, they did such a shoddy job at the packaging. Because here's the thing, first impressions. He is massive, he is imposing, and he is stable. Yeah, as far as first impressions goes, 
he makes a really good first impression right out of the box. The feet are obviously die cast. Like this this dude is, is ginormous. And no, yeah, like the, the, the face plate is definitely for combined mode. Head does not want to stay tapped in. So that's an issue. I might open up the head and get in there and paint the eyes because they're lifeless. Very tight. I don't know how far actually it goes. I'm not gonna like force it too much. There we go. Now I wonder. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was unexpected. And the head tapped off again. I am deadly scared of transforming him. Look at all those panels. Look at all those panels. That this, that's why this guy is a nightmare. That is why this guy is a fucking nightmare. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that this guy is sold out almost everywhere. With just how shoddy the quality control is. Ugh. That is tight, very tight, but not in, in a good way. It's tight in a way that you don't know if it's going to break or not. And I still don't know where this fell off from. So like definitely like this was here probably. Yeah, that, that seems about right. And it just like snapped off and fell off. Now the question is where? Where did it fall off from? I honestly don't know what Dreamstar Toys were thinking when they designed this guy like this. Um, just, just goes to show, you know, like the whole, just because you can doesn't mean you should. And I'll be honest, like just handling it, he looks fucking amazing. Like I, I like highly detailed things like this. I, honestly, I think this is what like the bay former should have looked like. I mean, put the camera properly in its proper position so you can like see this guy properly. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I'm, I'm apprehensive because I, I will transform him eventually, and I am so, so scared of what might happen while I'm transforming him and, you know, how he could break, and at the very least, I'm gonna transform this to put the gun on him, and I am so, so scared about that. So I know, like, a, a lot of things go into the whole nose cone transformation. Like, I, I've not been scared of transforming something in a while now, and th th this thing, like, scares me, not because of its complexity, but because of you know, the, the known issues that it's gonna, like, break on me on the way down to transform it. doing this without any instructions as well. I should stop myself. I should stop myself, but I'm not. 
I, I should really like you just stop myself because uh, you know if I, if I break it now I'll, I'll only have myself to blame that, that is, I think this is the his uh, arm cannon that's how it's supposed to look like And again, his head does not want to stay, stay dabbed in at all. And this is a bit loose. You know what would be really funny? If Dreamstar toys like included like broken pieces inside the box just to fuck with people. I know that's not what it is. And I know like people have found like where that belongs just you know that's just copium on my behalf oof but again as far as first impressions go this shit scares me and I still have no idea where the hell it goes of course, uh, this peg was part of this flap, so uh, yeah, hopefully it's not a super important piece, hopefully, because uh, Justice is a display piece, he looks amazing, it's just like, again, like, like th this back cable here is a fucking mess. Like all, all, all these panels, all, all these panels and all these flaps, they're just like, they're enough to make anybody nervous. But push comes to shove, I'll just remove everything. Oh, look, look that, that's, is that scuffing? I think it is, because on the other side, you don't have any of that. That is so weird. So yeah, like anyway, like push comes to shove, I'll just like remove the whole backpack and just display him as a uh, as a Mac, and that's it. But he looks imposing. That's for sure. Head still doesn't want to tab in. Uh, I don't know what to make of it. Cause here's the thing, I I know I know that this thing is probably going to cause me troubles, uh, problems at the moment of transformation. I hope it doesn't. Like, I, I was, like, hoping that I, I would get a, a golden goose. You know, like, get one that didn't have any QC issues, but that's uh, nearly impossible. Just, you know, like, hoping to hope that I would be one of the lucky ones. I do like how he looks. It's just his... I know like his feet also has given people issues like some people have had broken feet some people have had broken feet like out of the box and I am happy that I have not been one of them so uh, yeah just like uh, his knees could be tighter oh and look at that like his cannon just completely turned around because like the tolerances there aren't the best either. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Anyways, like here's a uh, comparison to an MP Prime so you can see how big this guy actually is. The guy is huge. You know, part of me just doesn't want to transform him ever, but I, I know I have to, because that, that that's the reason I buy these things, because I like their transformations. If I didn't, I would just buy Max. Sometimes I I feel like you know cutting my losses and just buying Max. Oh my goodness, that that head is gonna be the end of me. 
Oh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for indulging me in these videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Dudes. Uh, hi. I used to be a courier ship, but um, now I think I'm Silverbolt. <laughs>